the sun's voice and come forth and the tomb is your own wonderful skull you're not buried in any cemetery in this world let them build all the great mausoleums that they want that's man it's big business let them do it let them build it but you are buried in your skull that's where God is buried and out of that Golgotha he will rise and he will rise while you walk the earth you will sleep this night without knowing you will be awakened by the call of that voice the voice is a vibration it is a sound and so David will sound the call it will be in tune with you if the hour is right and then you will awake to find yourself completely in tune within your own skull and without any assistance from without you will push the base of your skull and come out just like a child being born from the womb of woman only this is now being born from above not from below and when you come out all the symbolism of scripture will surround you the witnesses will be there there are three and the infant wrapped in swaddling clothes which is only the sign of your exit from that heavenly womb you are born from above and then from then you go to another scene another scene over a period of three and a half years and your journey is then completed you remain in this world long enough to tell of your experience to tell of your own experience of God and until God is experienced you do not know him let all the teachers do what they want is perfectly all right they are sound asleep because God in them is sound asleep and they are speculating they are theorizing based upon what they believe God ought to do he should punish this one and punish that one and they do not know everyone punished is God being punished for his dream he is dreaming the dream of life God dreaming who is dreaming when he wakes in the morning he will say well I had a dream you had a dream I was and then he begins to describe it well what is he saying he is calling upon the name of God it was God who had the dream when he wakes I am going to do so and so. Who is that saying? I am going to do so and so. That's God. There's nothing but God in the world. There's no room for anyone in the world but God and his only begotten son. And his son is David. That's his son. Jesus is the Lord God Jehovah. And David in the spirit called him my Lord. That's the son calling him my Lord. Here is Jesus of scripture, the awakened God. He's not asleep. Here is the one who first awoke in the world. But then he calls us brothers. He said, go unto my brothers and tell them, I am ascending unto my father. But he said, I and my father are one. Unto my God. But he also said, my father is your father my God is your God and I and my father is one and my father is he whom you call God so here the mystery begins to unfold until you actually experience it you do not know how wonderful scripture is man must experience scripture before he can begin to understand how altogether wonderful it is it's eternally true from beginning to end the whole thing is true and it is not secular history it's divine history so I share with you what I know from experience I am not theorizing I am not speculating it happened to me a simple man as you are simple and I did not for one moment suspect this was the mystery until it actually unfolded within me and I experienced it and when someone who supposedly lived 3,000 years ago calls me father and I know exactly that I am his father there was no uncertainty as to this relationship I'm looking into the face of the most heavenly youth 
and he was the one who called me from my profound sleep and when I woke it was God who woke for he is calling upon the Lord to awake rouse thyself why sleepest thou O Lord awake and then you wake as though you had never before been awake it's a peculiar strange waking that takes place within you and now you see this heavenly eternal being who is the son of God but because he is going to awake you and you will know he is your son you will know that you are God so in the end everyone will awake and everyone will be God so it takes all of us to make the Lord it's a compound unity the word Elohim it is a plural word in the beginning God that word is Elohim and God said let us make man in our image that word is Elohim a compound unity one made up of others it takes all of us to make the one God hear O Israel the Lord our God the Lord is one not two so here the only one who could ever arouse you and actually bring you from your profound sleep is your son whose name is David so I will tell of the decree of the Lord said David he said unto me thou art my son today I have begotten thee and so we have confused it with Jesus and Jesus is the Lord he is the Lord speaking he is the Lord who inspired the prophets to write what they did and finding no one to fulfill it he himself came into the world and became man he became you his name is I am that's the Lord God Jehovah that we call Jesus in scripture that's I am do you not realize said Paul that Jesus Christ is in you don't you know that he is in you are you looking for him to come from without when he is within you well he is within you can't say I am and point elsewhere you're aware to be aware is saying I am and you can't point on the outside of self when you say I am and that is my name forever and forever and that is the Lord Jesus in every being in the world but his son plays such an important part that son called David you say he is the son of Jesse and Jesse means I am the word Jesse means Jehovah exists it is any form of the verb to be in other words I am that is the father of David and when I tell you I am telling you from experience I am not the scholar who simply went through scripture and counted to bring forward this theory it's not theory of me I am not qualified to go through the scriptures knowing Greek and knowing Latin and knowing Ara Aramaic to do that it happened to me it was all by revelation so let the scholars go on and try to find it let them go on until it's revealed to them they do not know it revealed truth cannot be actually legally or I would say logically proven it's all revealed if it isn't revealed well then speculate and I am not speculating I am telling you exactly who God is and until you experience God you do not know him but I'm telling you from my own experience you will experience God and then you will know him and you'll know why we hyphenate the word Judeo-Christian it's one tree the tree is Judaism 